is Nadia El Khan, and I am the editor of this new book, The Anti-Racist Kitchen, 21 Stories and Recipes, illustrated by Rosa Nazari. Now, you're probably wondering, what does it mean to be an editor of a book like this? Well, it is like going into a library or maybe even a room and it's filled with 21 of your favorite friends. And you want to spend some time just listening to their stories. Enjoy some delicious food while you're listening to the stories. Not only that, you get to look at some images and you get an idea of what the dish is supposed to look like. So that's what this book is like. And you're probably wondering why I wrote a book like this. I wrote a book like this because I wanted to see a book like this on the shelves. And I also had hoped that students, young people uh, that I work with, as I am also a teacher, would go to the bookstore, the library, and they'll pick up a book and find a story that not only uh, resembles or looks like themselves, but they'll feel seen. The students and the readers reading this will feel seen, especially those uh, students and young readers who have experienced racism, discrimination, microaggressions, macroaggressions, um, any kind of um, hate or discrimination uh, based on race and difference and that is why i have a book like this that i wanted to create it was an idea that i had um, a few years ago and i um, also wanted to celebrate all the wonderful diverse authors that are creating books right now for young people um, and i really wanted to see that and also for anyone who wants to dive in and talk about and have conversations, courageous conversations about anti-racism. There is a glossary at the back and that will help you to know what some of these big words are, some of these small words are, some of the words that are used a lot in conversations around racism. And I'm so um, proud to and, and humbled because I had um, I've been trusted with these wonderful stories and I get to share them. I get to protect and share them with the world in this great book. And also I am proud that it was uh, an idea that I came up with and that it is a book that I get to be a part of and share with the world. Um, so I am so excited to share this book with you and it has recipes and photos and illustrations and I think most importantly personal stories just to share with you that you're not alone that you're not alone in going through and experiencing discrimination or even feeling insecure about being um, of a particular um, ethnicity, an ethnic group, um, a faith background, or skin color, skin tone, culture, language, and also to get some insight into what people might be experiencing. This feeling 
that you um, not only can observe but and be a bystander, but you can also say something and speak up. And befriend someone who's different than you and you can sit down and have a delicious meal and that very act by itself can be a way to bring people together. And this book is um, about reclaiming and restoring, resisting and rejoicing and I get to share it with you. So I hope you'll pick up a copy of The Anti-Racist Kitchen, 21 Stories and Recipes, and you will read it, and you will enjoy it, and you will share it.